Alright, welcome everyone to the round five preview of Rich River Premier League. My name is Ben Tappan Patton. We've got Steve Loder again this week. How are you going, Steve? I'm the um, fella at the bottom of the food chain here at the moment. Yeah, I, don't, I think we both are, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. We couldn't get the Australian Pro of the Year in this week. We might get him next week if we can. Still negotiating an appearance for him, apparently. Yeah, so. He's um, yeah, doing nothing for free anymore. <laughs> <laughs> His, his comment after winning the Victorian Award was, "These are my kind of people, you know, hanging around with the Premier and Peter Thompson and uh, Mike Clayton and all these uh, people of importance." And he's now gone to a whole new level, yeah, mixing yeah. with uh, Greg Norman and uh, Ian Baker Finch, yeah, and, uh, Robert Allenby. Robert said Robert Allenby, Allenby V-line straight to him and congratulated him. And I said, "As long as you don't V-line with him to the strip clubs tonight, you'll be." <laughs> Going home a happy man, so um, but no, it was a very good achievement by Richard, and um, no doubt everyone's um, congratulated him over yeah, the last couple of great, days. And great effort, and uh, uh, just definitely, reward. Definitely a little people underneath him award, oh. I reckon, that could have got him there. You're only so. as good as the people who work alongside you. That's it, so we'll take half of that yeah. anyway. So round, round, round five. five, yep. So we had the Fockers. Just keeping on their merry yeah. way, defeated the Turtles, 147-143. And, and the good thing about the Fockers is they mix it around a bit. It's not the same ones every week doing, no. doing it. No, so. Chud's up there this week with 40 yeah. points. Robbie Kilgour, 37. Steve Burt's been consistent this yeah, year, 36. Pete, Pete Durant, it's just, yeah, they keep yeah. going on their yeah. merry way. And so. Jonty, Jonty's had a quiet year, yeah. 34, but he's, he's doing his job every now and then. So it's place. It, it might be their time. Could be. It's two man's and what? Get, finally be able to have bragging rights for once. So you can't shut him up now. Imagine no. what it'd be like if he wins. That's right. I won't turn up grand final and I don't win or not. But anyway. And Joel Watson, um, we said a couple of weeks ago he, he'll bounce back and he has. He's had thirty nine and you know, one forty three he's not gonna lose many weeks. It's no. just happened to lose this week. So no, up against a good side. Yes. Been a bit unlucky the turtles actually. Yeah, I still reckon they'll be there about so make finals, but um, from yeah. seventh. They will. Yeah, it's only a game, <laughs> the dif game the difference. So, teacups won't stay there. So With a percentage of 97. They'll be fine. Trust me. Seven, seven <laughs> percentage points behind. Trust me. Anytime you get Brian Harlan in the top four, <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, Dirty Divots, 151. Nearly a record score yeah. there. Um, defeated the Grandats, 132. Uh, top performers there, Steve, for the, yeah, the Dirty well, Divots. Pete Retallick. Just T Bone, yep. 39. Mary Way, Matty Young. Got the two boners. Yeah. T Bone and Backbone, yeah. 39 points. And Hilly, 39. Yeah, Hilly and Youngy in the same cart together. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Probably didn't even swap cards, but anyway, we won't go into that. So. Uh, granddad's Terry Jeffries and uh, 38, good scoring, but yeah, not much behind him. Rex Matthews, Noel Bailey, 33, and Murray Matthews, in the top four with 28. You're never going to win too many matches. No. Next um, one is uh, teacups versus the power faders, and uh, the power faders uh, were pretty convincingly done again. Yeah. One thirty-two, just not enough. No, one twenty-six. Uh, right? Yeah, definitely not enough. And probably, probably lucky the teacups came up against this team because yeah, one thirty-six. You know, probably well, would have beaten two teams this week. But yeah, it's not going to win many times in the week. But. They were lucky they came up against two players. That's all they had, the team. Yeah. Two players. That's pretty pathetic. Um, so I don't know yeah. what they need to do there. They need to organise their team a bit better, Chad. I know you've had a baby yeah, last baby week. Girl. But yeah, baby uh, girl. Um, good job on that front. Yes, but um, no yeah. excuse not to play, really. <laughs> yeah, perfect chance. I'm pretty sure your wife is still in the yeah. hospital. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You don't need to be there. You're not going to do anything in the hospital, so you should have been out in the course. But anyway. Your team's lost. So he did, did poke his nose in. He though. did. It's good yeah. to see him still smiling because we gave him a fair old caning last yeah, week and he from, took it on the chin, which yeah. was pretty well done. I thought we got a fair old caning each week for that, I reckon. But anyway, <laughs> um, and the last match of the round was the Cinderella Boys, one forty-three, good scoring, defeating the Loose Cannons, one twenty-seven. The Loose Cannons just continue on their merry way downwards. <laughs> That's <laughs> about all they're doing. They're. Uh, they're the laughing stock. Uh, they are, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Sean Slattery up there with 37. Rocket, yeah. again, it's Brownlow favourite, I reckon. Rocket. Oh, he's, up. He's, oh, he's up there. Anyway. He's going to be top four at the minute. So he's, he's um, been in the top four every week. Yeah. Um, 36 this week. So he's, he'll be there about to come into the year. Mark Langenbacker. Yeah. Ran into his work colleague today, BJ Harlan. 
walking along the street, pretty downtrodden. I'm oh, busy, mate. Yeah, busy. I said, oh, how's Mark going? Yeah, he's out playing golf. Yeah, he's out the golf course this morning. No wonder he's going so well. Yeah. He's out every second day practicing. So, um, so yeah, good win by the Cinderella boys. I've still written them off and don't think they'll make finals and I think they're in the top four now <laughs> anyway. They are, but I've still written them off. They're yeah, no right. good. No good. Who do they play next week? Um, probably play loose cannons yeah, or something Yeah, they've probably like got that. the buy or something, but anyway. Um, and also to me, we didn't mention that um, Joy Kelly had 31, another score above Cole Johnson. Another one oh, lady be better above him. So, um, and Cole had 29 this week to get in the top four for the loose cannon. So he could have Cole watched. Yeah. Uh, as I said, we'll just keep reminding him every week. He's out there today, and I told him today. So Heroes had the buy with 135. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Bennett, 40 points, good scoring. Steve Jones, 35. Scalzi, 32. And. I don't know why I put Chewy in there at 28, Chewy back at 28, and Dave, Dave Pearce at 28. Dave, so. Dave Pearce has been a bit quiet. He has, that's probably the first top four he's, he's had, and it hasn't really meant anything. So. That's 28, that's not one to get excited no, about. Not really, not really. Now, we had some awards, we've, we've got rid of a couple of awards last week, as we said, but um, Sook of the Week, we had Rocket in this week, Glenn Rogers. Yeah. Um, yeah. Going on, oh boys, you're a bit harsh with the scoring the other week, you know, bagging the teams out for not scoring. It was tough out there. It was tough. It was 2k an hour wins and the course was tough and we were too hard on him and he just kept going on and on and he gave you a surf for yeah. saying the wrong quote or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. apparently I used, uh, I don't know, I think who I used now. John have have Barassi. I should have used Barassi. Yeah. It's the do something and it should have been John Kennedy, which is kind of ironic because I looked it up yeah. before I came yeah. in here and still got it wrong. You must but have looked at the wrong Google page. Yeah. <laughs> but rock it. No sledging the hosts. No, exactly. So Bloody silk of the, silk of the week for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, villain of the week. Villain? Every day. Well, I was just walking through the members and I uh, don't want to name names. Joel Watson dobbed in my optometrist. Um, <laughs> you don't even know. I, was, I didn't want to call him Flipper because I thought not everyone will know his name is Dave, Dave Wilson. Dave Wilson. I thought, do I, do I say Flip? Good at Thomas Russ, you can't even see his name. I can't read it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's exactly. actually got a bit to answer for because I can't part to save my yeah. life. And ever since I got glasses, I've been hopeless. So. Blame him. Yeah, yeah, I'm blaming yeah, him. Yeah, I'm blaming him. So he's a villain of the week because you can't part. Yeah, yeah. Because I can't <laughs> part and Joel says that he doesn't, he's, he's the Clayton's team member apparently. He went last, to the test or something last week. He went to the it? cricket last yeah. week and then this week he's got a work function or something. Some excuse yeah, not, to go and drink alcohol. Not good enough really is it? As a Joel's not happy, so no. uh, not a happy camp in their turtles and they need every, all the help they can get from they seventh. Yeah. But they'll apparently they're going to make finals. They're there, they yeah. have to be. Yeah. Yeah. They have to be. <laughs> Team. Um, team player, so we had Steve Jones, their team had the buy, but he's turned up early in the morning, not not generally a morning player, but he's turned up nice and early. He's and never seen 7 a.m. No, in his life. No, he's cruising in here, farmer. No, he's a farmer, yeah. but he's <laughs> never seen it on a golf course. <laughs> but he's turned up early to, to get the percentage points for his team, and I heard even along the 11th fairway, I think his buggy broke, the spring snapped on his smoothie buggy, and instead of calling us in the shop, he just ripped the springs off, threw them in the bush, and put the wheel in and wheeled this lopsided buggy for the last six, seven holes. So good effort by Jonesy to, to get a score on the board for his team and, and get some percentage points. And um, so good job, mate. Good, a true captain, I, I believe, Steve yeah. Jones. And that's yeah. why they probably won last year. So Purple, purple haze. Your team, your team yeah. really. Yeah, your team. Yeah, that's just yeah. nutsy. That's, that's, that's what they're made of. Exactly. And that's why they'll go close to back to back this year if they pull their pants up and start going a bit better. No. Round six, the yeah. Turtles versus the Grandads. Yeah, must win for the Turtles, I believe. The they have to, yeah. They've got to win if they want to play finals. If they want to keep my prediction going, they need to win, really. Go on. Go on, nah. No, no, I'm going to... No flip. No. Nah. Go on. No, nah, they'll be there. Cinderella, Cinderella boys. boys. Yeah, dirty divots. Match of the round, I, I believe. Cinderella boys starting to fight back. And the dirty divots is flying at the minute. So, if Cinderella boys can get their full team on the park, they'll be hard to beat. Yeah, yeah. They've had them here most weeks, so yeah, I like their chances actually. Yeah, no, Dirty Gibbets are playing too well. Jay Scott hasn't had a very good couple of weeks, so I reckon he'll fire this week. No, had a helicopter fly over him when he was playing the other day. <laughs> yeah, clue. Well, helicopter or either way, one of his drivers <laughs> went oh, sailing the other one. <laughs> down the fairway. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, but we didn't know we knew about that. Either. No, we I didn't hear about that. So. He was just very lucky that Chad Jones got in the gun. Otherwise, one of his, one of his teammates that day yeah. did it. I think yeah. our lady captain might have dossed him in that <laughs> one. Fair enough. Fair enough. Complained and then <laughs> yeah. found out it was one of our match committee. Yeah, kind of. Fair enough. Whoops. <laughs> we'll keep that quiet for a little bit. So. Um, wooden spoon match for the next one. Power faders and the loose cannons. Just toss yeah. a coin or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It depends if the loose cannons have any or uh, Power faders have anyone turn up this week? So, yeah. And a reluctant heroes versus the teacups, a chance for the teacups to really show what they're made of, I think, this week. And Where are they sitting? They're six. They're, yeah, they're they six and they, they win and um, they can sneak into the top four. Cinderella boys lose. Yeah, the Fockers on top. Yeah, you're just cruising along, game clear. Dirty Divots second. Yeah, and then it's pretty tight. Reluctant heroes, Cinderella boys, granddads, and teacups. All, all on the three wins. Just percentage. And the percentage is pretty close as well, so. Turtles, yeah. seventh, power faders probably gone. Yeah, power and faders and loose cannons are gone. Loose cannons were gone before they started. Yeah, well, you know you're gone when your percentage is below the buy, so yeah. you know you've got no chance. Anyway, uh, we'll see you next week. Thanks to 4X, thanks to Amy for all her hard work, and she'll do this very, yeah. very quickly, this episode, and try and get it on the website before the weekend. So thank yeah. you. Good luck to my boys. The Good purple hose. Yeah. yeah. Good luck to all players this week. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Good job.